Hello, my crafty friends. Today, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks on how to cut 12 by 12 paper. And so we use it up. That's the whole point. There are so many facets off of this, but we're going to do basics. I have two pieces of pattern paper and a solid cardstock. This is from my Shimmer collection. And this is from my latest Club Echo Park collection called Gather at Home. This piece is what we call directional. The cups need to be going straight up and down. And this is non-directional. It's going to look the same no matter which way you turn your paper. I will show you that. So first, I'm going to cut this piece off here. You don't have to have a trimmer. You can use... I have a long pair of scissors. This could work equally well with a ruler and a pencil. Okay, so we have a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And I'm going to be cutting these pieces at five and a quarter by four to fit on a card. And it's directional. If I cut at four, right here, if I put it at four, not on top of the not on top of that black line, but just, just to the right of it. Cut up. I can get three pieces this direction. Okay. So there, there's our three pieces. And because, and the cups are going to be straight up and down on the card. And I'm going to be making a portrait style card. And I'll show you that too. So we're going to go five and a quarter. Okay. Five and a quarter. And then I have a little piece left over. The idea is to go ahead and get these cut into usable pieces. A lot of us are hesitant to start cutting into our paper. So if we just cut it right off the bat, then we'll be ready for anything. Okay, this is non-directional. And because it's non-directional, we can make the card Landscape, which is this, or portrait, which is this. I always start at four because I know I can get three pieces because it's 12 inches across. Okay. There's going to be like maybe a millimeter difference at times. Let's go ahead and do our five and a quarter. Uh, and that was probably too much at once. That was hard on my blade. So let's just do two at once here. Five and a quarter. And then we have our little pieces here. Yeah, if you try to cut too many at once, you're going to end up with raggedy edges like that. Okay. Now, this can either go this way or that way because it's non-directional. 
But this, because of the way I cut it, I cut the four inch first. It can only go portrait style. Does that make sense? If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this piece at five and a quarter by four. And I'm gonna show you what we can do here. So I'm gonna do my four again. Because obviously this is solid, it's not gonna matter. Five and a quarter. Five and a quarter. Okay. I think I cut this a little too wide. Nope, it's fine. All right. And Okay, so you have a choice. You can put this on the card base itself, just a five and a quarter by four pattern piece. And it, if I was gonna do that, I would probably um, use a colored card base because there's so much white here. But, so there, here you go, you can put a mat. Now the mat is five and a quarter by four, okay? So that means that I can cut this down because right now it, it would match and you wouldn't see the mat, right? Okay, they're both five and a quarter by four, but because I used the mat, now I can cut this down even further. So I can cut this down. Depends how much of the mat you want to show but it was five and a quarter by four. So now I'm gonna go to five by three and three quarters. So there we are. Is that cute or is that cute? And again, like I said, you can go down a quarter of an inch to make several layers. That would be awesome. I would probably use, that's not exactly the same color green, so I would probably want to use Blushing Bride to match this one. Again, the direction dictates, if I had cut it, oh, that here's a nice plaid back here. I could have cut it the other direction and had a landscape of my cups but I chose to cut it this way. If you want a portrait style card like this, A2, they're both A2, it's just the way you orient the card. You start at four inches if it's directional, and then you're five and a quarter. And if it's non-directional, it doesn't matter because you're gonna turn, you can turn it either way and it looks the same. Okay, again, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you got some value out of this. And stay tuned for more. Bye-bye.